Hello and welcome to MGP 352. I'm Kev, and with me as ever the Sheepdog Anna and Pav. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. And can I just take this opportunity to congratulate Sheepdog and Pab for an excellent show last week when me and Anna were on holiday. I personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was the best one Good. the two of them have ever done without us. It was just real top quality stuff. Just remind us some of the things you discussed on last week's show. It was just really, really vast and gamey. Um, probably... What, like a pheasant? <laughs> I was about to <laughs> say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like a real hunter's pie, yeah. Um, I, I've, I've not eaten meat in so long, I couldn't think of a name of a pie. What's become <clears> me? Um, but no, it was probably the best best work we've ever put out. Excellent. Do you have an excuse for just not bothering? Did you tell the world you weren't doing a, a podcast last week? We have you got anything to say to our listeners to apologise? Because they had no warning. You ruined their Saturday. Do you mean sure I think they did have a warning because it went a, puck, a, a thing went on Friday night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, put, I didn't put a picture of Pab out, and I know that breaks that protocol. Usually means the, the yeah, sounds the alarm. That doesn't it? I um I I considered just flipping a picture I'd used in the past and pretending <laughs> it was a picture of Pab from the opposite perspective, but uh, I, I couldn't to do that. Bolton so and taken a picture of him there. I should have just said, Pab, can I see a quick picture of your face? I've forgotten what you look like, and then used or to take if you, if a you'd have still asked me, from the vlog. If you'd have asked me, I probably would have sent you a selfie just just for the sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is Pab being part reptilian as I am I only wanted to do it if I was betraying you but then right. being part human I didn't want to betray you I feel like it's not who I am anymore I've, 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 I'm trying to turn over a new leaf but I thought if I'm not going to betray him I'm not going to get a picture of him and um, yeah the, the listener lost out again well luckily we've got event season on the horizon so you can you can take the opportunity to take lots of pictures of him oh, there, so sorted I for will. the next year <laughs> i i was very upset last weekend while we were away um because every now and again i would get reminders come up on like facebook memories and time hop and stuff reminding us that every year for like the previous seven or eight years that weekend we would have been at egx and it gave mm. me a a pang of sadness that we weren't there all my time hops were of us graduating. <laughs> we only did that yeah, once. That, that was like seven years ago today, I think it was. Yeah. It's, well, I say all mine. The only ones I've noticed. Um, and I guess you don't, take any, you don't take any pictures when we go to these places. Though. You're too busy wandering around looking at your phone and not paying attention to what you're doing. Whereas I get giddy and photograph everything and film everything. Even that back means... before we were vlogging. You've never pictured me because I'd have been tagged in them. That's what I'm thinking must have I happened here. Tag you in stuff. I don't even know yeah. your name. Mm. I search for sheepdog. No, okay, perhaps he's being formal. I search for Steve. <laughs> Mc doesn't listen. No, he's not on there either. Clearly, he doesn't have Facebook. Sorted. I work with Angry, Angry John's wife now, and she was trying to remember all the various names she's known me by the other day. Because um, she, and it's the weird thing is, I've been sheepdog for so long, I'd forgotten that my name was Steve. Um, <laughs> and she was talking about that, and I was looking at her like she was mad. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah Steve I, I, doesn't listen. That was obviously your full name. That is was. your full name. That's, that is when I'm being formal. That's how I yeah. sign things up. Steve Legal Sheepdog but doesn't listen with sheepdog in the little quotation mark things to indicate it's a nickname hmm. I when I email for review copies of games that I inevitably don't get like the Untitled Goose game which they completely ignore me on I don't know whether to shine, sign off as my name Steve or Sheepdog anymore um, and I think if they check they're not going to hear me be called my real name at all um, it's very <laughs> unlikely I'll be called Steve but at least that's on all of the Kevin Steve stuff that like our formal email address and whatnot. Um, I don't know why we have a joint formal email address by the way I was thinking that earlier <laughs> and, uh, and Sheepdog just seems to yeah kevinsteve at gmail.com is that so I should probably log into that every now and again. It, I cleared out it? the 7,000 spam emails <gasps> in it the other day. Um, what have I you been really signing up for? Well, I 
I think I was updating my Gmail and it asked me if I wanted to log into that account and I was just like, eh? why? Like Google's obviously just. Been Did you find any me. secret money this time? Like the last time we logged into <laughs> something from the old days. Yeah, but that was the same account. That was that account. I think I'd, um, I I must have added it to my phone a while back. That found the secret money that we were just blown away by, um, and then which we probably should have given back to Pab because it was all from him anyway. It was, was it? And then um... <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. Like Patreon subs from years ago, and were you not our only Patreon Possibly. Back, in, back in the day? Possibly. So I think it was money that you'd put on our Patreon like six years ago. We'd forgotten about. <laughs> we never hit the. We never hit the withdrawal limit to be able to take it out, <laughs> but it just kept coming, and we forgot about it, and then just found it. So nice. thanks, Pab. You bought me and Sheepdog a, a new pair of shoes. Nice. Enjoy him. But um, yeah, I, I think something clicked on it about a week ago and suddenly every email that had ever been sent to it went unread on my phone and my phone had a right meltdown. Um, so yeah, while I was going through that, I just thought, oh, this is now up and running. And that's when we got that chart thing that I was entertaining you with massively at the start of the show. Um, yeah, well, that wasn't even lower. on the show. That was before. We don't record Sheepdog's entertaining game at the start of the show. <laughs> no, no one knows what you're talking about now. No, I know. I'm talking to you, this Kev. I know you know what I'm talking about. a tradition that's been going on for too many years. Stop coming to us with a new game every week. I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, we because I cleared it down, I now get this, oh, by the way, your number this in the charts in America and all of that, which we've probably been getting for the past seven years, but... Now I know um, it was. T- it tells Where me are we, we in the charts? In we America? we were a hundred and something in the charts, but all time was like much higher, which I thought was really good. Uh, UK obviously still top fifteen. I think we were like fourteenth, so top fifteen's being That's generous. Um, yeah, it's very good. We're happy with that. I, I, I can you see who's above us? Can you? Are we still the UK's number one independent video games podcast? It doesn't we still tell call me. ourselves that because we do anyway. We do still call ourselves that regardless. <laughs> yes. It doesn't tell me, but I reckon we could think of four t- uh, 13 uh, you know, privately owned, privately funded ones that are like official companies that we could just say are above us. Wouldn't be hard. Nice. To be fair, I can only probably think of two that I would class as independent that might be above us. And let's face it, we're better than both of them, and the chances are they'll be below us anyway. So we should be good. We should um, be good. We should be good by now. It's been seven years, Kev. Exactly. Well, they, the two I'm thinking of have both been running even longer. Um, <laughs> but obviously, because it's been a couple of weeks since we did a show, because you two are lazy toads, we've missed all of the new releases this year. There's been like <laughs> 18 games that have come out since we've last done a podcast. I've played at least two new release games since the last show possibly wow. a third one two? Um, and i'm yeah fifa 20 oh. and uh nino cooney on the switch yeah. i was supposed to get nino cooney and i didn't and i'm really disappointed <laughs> oh it's lovely it is mm. lovely and i got the um re-released zelda game on the switch as well so that's a third i feel like had you talked about borderlands 3 the last yes, time we did I the podcast yeah, came out that yeah. Day. What else has come out in the last two weeks? The reason we didn't record last week, other than you not being here, was that I literally just played Final Fantasy VIII every single day, non-stop, right up until about Wednesday this week. Um, and Pab had you just probably go got... to work occasionally. <laughs> well, they don't notice. And um, Pab had got uh, Zelda, but yeah, had like played it for an hour. Again. So it was like... <laughs> I, we we chatted about whether people really wanted to hear me talk about Final Fantasy VIII for an entire episode while Pab just mentioned the hour he spent on his new game that was a remake and we thought that was probably a bad idea. Um, I will say that I I feel so satisfied having 100% completed, like done everything in Final Fantasy VIII now. I've covered every inch of that game. There's nothing I haven't done in that game now and uh, I'm, I'm well happy. And I, I, I wish every game had a speed multiply button because it just made it so much easier to just skip things that were a bit boring or that i already knew or that i remembered from years ago and and normal new games sometimes they just get a bit above themselves and they just need to let me skip stuff like this was doing and it meant that i actually put the effort into 100 percent it because stuff was a bit quicker and i didn't have to spend a day just grinding stuff um it was it was a perfect experience and i was so satisfied when i did complete it um 
it suddenly ramped up really hard as well, which is quite funny because mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't remember it getting so hard, and then it did at the end. But um, no, I'm very satisfied with that, um, and that is that is my lot. So I'll let you crack on. But I was surprised. No, have none of you played the Untitled Goose game this week? Yes. I've seen it. Yes. I've not played it. Yes, because I, I was going to get it, and I haven't had a chance it yet. Didn't take it because I haven't got time to play it. You what? Sorry, I think I was offered a code for it, but I haven't taken it yet. I should probably do that. I know yes. that. I know my brother-in-law was telling me it's amazing, um, and loads of people seem to be talking to me about it lately. It seems to have really hit a chord. I mean, it's because it's so hilariously quaint, but like everyone I follow on Twitter. The people who write Wicked and Divine, the community manager of Pokemon Go, like all these random people that are just like well known enough are all just they all went nuts the day it came out, just pictures of them as a goose. Bouncy was at it as you can imagine. Um, <laughs> you know, he was all over that. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's warmed to geese as the as a result whether he hates them more. Um but yeah, that game seemed to take over the world earlier in the week and yeah, I kind of I, I see why it's just clever marketing, very witty. Um, yeah, the name's very witty. It's just yeah, it's cracking. I'm, su- I'm I am surprised no one got it. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, did you? Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talked right over you. Then you're I'd right. have shut up if I'd known that. You're What's right. it like then, Pat? <clears throat> Go on. It's very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought I'll have, have a swig of my it? drink while Pat blows his away it. with his long I've review. Got it on Switch. Yeah, actually. Yeah, but it's on, it's on the Epic Store as well, and I ummed and ahed which to get it on, and ended up going for Switch. It plays fine. It's not, it's not particularly, you know, a massively graphically intensive game, so it's not, it's not really struggling on the Switch. Um, so I can't yeah. get an eight K goose. No, no. I mean, you, you probably, I don't know what. Yeah, you probably could get a four K goose maybe on the PC, but not on the Switch. Um, How many frames yeah. per second does it waddle in? I imagine 30, but I don't know. Um, Can't see a 30 FPS waddle. No, I don't know. Um, So yeah, you play a goose, and you get given a list of challenges. Basically just create havoc in a little town. And uh, yeah, it's super. That's what I've been doing for the last 37 years, Have you? As a goose? I need... I need that more should be your Twitter bio. <laughs> Creating <laughs> havoc in a small little town. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just a, a nice quaint little game that, like I say, it's just it's, it is very different. It's very different. It's not something you 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 know. It's not something you'd expect every day to see. It's um, you can just potter about. Like I say, you have a list of challenges. Like I don't know, I played at AGX it's... and it's go on, sheepdog. I say it's the kind of game that. I could just, if you're a game developer and I don't know, your parents said to you, so what, what are you working on? And you'd be like, so you see, yeah, you're this goose and you're just nasty and you go around town messing people. I could just imagine my parents just shaking their head at me and just walking away. <laughs> and, and I can imagine these guys now are just ringing up their parents and be like, hello, mum, yeah, yeah, it's me, yeah. Uh, yeah, that game I worked on, like, I've just made five million quid or whatever. I don't know how much I've actually made. Like, mm. you know, people all over the world are talking about it. It's it's just captured the nation, and it has. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's all I was seeing about the day it came out. Um, I wonder at what point they knew that, I mean, like, there must be a point where they just thought, yeah, this is going to be huge. Well, it had the biggest queue at Res earlier in the year. I, it's, yeah, there's always been a lot of buzz about it. I mean, it smacks that hipster market right in the face, doesn't it? It's It's ironic enough. To, it doesn't matter if the game was any good they got the marketing just right even the name of it I mean it was all it's been created by a marketing genius and there just happens to be a game in there as well it's come at the right time for us even my mates who don't particularly listen to well, never listen to the show ever come to me that's right up your podcast street geese huh? and I'm like well that guy's not really with us anymore <laughs> you know, the, the geese have a lot to do with it he'll, he'll be out in another three to five years and then he can come back on the podcast <laughs> Once he and he's still not allowed geese. anywhere near geese but um, yeah, we've had a lot. I've had the odd message about it. He's uh, he's definitely had a lot of messages about it. Bounce is loving yeah. it. He, he you know when he gets out on like his release in the yard every every time, and they let him have a go on the prison computer. He's just there tapping away, responding to all his fan mail about geese. Um, 
It's just, yeah, I think that's probably why it first captured our attention, but it's it's mad seeing it be so big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's superb. It really is. It's, it's, there's nothing short. It's, the, the thing is, it, people have said that the disappointing thing about it is that it's too short, and I can probably see that. I imagine I'm probably halfway through it, and I've played it for maybe an hour and a half, maybe. Um, Do you reckon they're going for Untitled Goose Game 2 or DLC? I don't know. Or I actually like don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know whether it's just just like the the mechanics or whatever. Just I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know how many developers are on it. I imagine it's not a massive studio that is making it. So I don't know. It's just great. The soundtrack's great. It's just like a very simple piano tune, and, and like I say, it's just it's really good. I mean, you, you the puzzle. It's it's very much a puzzle game. It's like you are trying to find ways to do whatever break break the the brush or make make a one of them on the second level is make a kid wear the wrong glasses. So you've got to chase this kid, and this little kid doesn't like you. This little kid is frightened of you. So no kids like geese. Well, another find challenge. Find a kid who likes chal- a goose, and I'll show you a fool. Another challenge is lock the kid in in the phone box, and I chased the kid into the phone box, and and I, I completed that challenge. I was happy with that. Um, <laughs> but you have to get him to wear different glasses. So you have to basically trip him up so his glasses fall off. <laughs> Which is so I chased him for a bit and then it suddenly pops up you like um you you grab with it with your beak and you can grab his shoelaces and trip him up. Um and then nick his glasses. So while he's looking around on the floor, you go and get another pair of glasses off from the shop. You sneak around and get them. Um and it's not it's some of them are easy because some of them are like um you know, go and get this from wherever and stick it somewhere or do you know, do whatever with it. And it's Whoever's patrolling it, say like the gardener or the shopkeeper, if the shopkeeper notices it's missing, they'll go looking for it, and if they find it, they'll take it back. So it sort of becomes it comes off of your list, so to speak. So yeah. it's it's it's, it's, it's diffi- the final mission. Try and live out a peaceful retirement. On I don't know. I don't know Street. what the final mission is. I'm I am like I say. I feel like I'd I've, love I've, it if the final mission was crossbow in bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> Just sneaking into his house. <laughs> He'll be there podcasting in his underwear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't not know. We'll have to see. Um, like I said, I've done, I've done two of the however many levels there are. I don't feel like it's a massively huge game, so I don't know how many more levels there are. But um, I think I'm in the garden in some sort of like like set of back gardens now, and I had to, I had to nick some guy's slippers while I was reading the paper. Um <laughs> It's, it's it's bonkers. Like I say, you've, it's just great going up to people and honking at them and flapping your wings at them. And yeah, it's a fun little game. And I would encourage everybody to go and go and give it a go because it's um, it's uh, very much fun. Excellent. Um, right. This the next three games. Yes. Um, I propose a. Uh, I'll do a FIFA 20 sandwich. So okay. if we want to start out with one of Nino, Nino Cooney or Zelda, drop into some FIFA, then swing back to the other one, because I imagine there's multiple people who have things to say about each of them. Anna, okay. would you like to start with Zelda or Nino Cooney? Uh, Nino Cooney. So I haven't spent much time with Zelda since I got it. Cause... Let's talk about Nino Cooney now. <laughs> Nino Cooney came day after. <laughs> yeah, weirdly, you pre-ordered Zelda... Not Nino Cooney. I pre-ordered Nino Cooney. Forget and then forgot that I'd done it. Um, but my one, you confiscated and have played more than the one you ordered. Why didn't you just order this one in the first place, Kevin? Why did I confiscate it, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, huh? Kevin. No huh? reason. I had a day of new news. Mm. Did you my, really right. get sent to bed without any supper? Oh, that day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, it's uh, like, is that, a, is that a saying people say? And then I thought, no, he legitimately got sent to bed about his supper. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Anna was very cross with me. I was in a lot of trouble. But it's all resolved now. She's very no, happy. No, it's not. Again. I'm <laughs> not happy. Well, I'm still I wearing think, an Apple Watch. And I think you're not about it and get so angry with that you. That feels resolved to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you got an Apple Watch, did you? Is that what you did? No, 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 no. Yeah. He lied about it. I didn't lie about you it. Let's not go down lie. this road again. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to get into this again. I can't. I'm hosting a podcast. I can't go to bed yet. 
But anyway, oh, Nino Cooney came at the same time and Anna, Anna confiscated it. And while we were at Centre Park, she was sat there playing it. But this, um, I'm, I'm enjoying, I've probably played maybe the first two hours myself. Mm-hmm. I say played the first two hours. It's been on for two hours. I've played about 40 <laughs> minutes of it because you have the hour long mini movie that it's starts a long the game film, off. Isn't it? Um, and then it's constantly dropping back into cutscenes and stuff all the way through. And um, yeah, I could probably do a little less of that and a little more playing the game so I can work out if I want to play the game or not. Because at the moment, I'm getting a lot of Persona, Pokemon y type vibes from the gameplay side of things, mm-hmm. which is fine. I like that kind of game, but there's not enough of it at the moment. It's too much of a movie. And I didn't get it's far in this. Uh, but I got to like the first boss, I think, or like a tree thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm past and the tree. Bit, yeah, a bit beyond that. And then I just was busy, so I didn't play it anymore. And I, I've obviously not played it since. And um, yeah, A, the film bit, it's great, but it's long. What I want to check, because I, I said three, four weeks ago, I hope that playing Final Fantasy VIII will give me the impetus to jump into another long game like Nino Kuni. And then. Once I've done that, I'll be ready and raring to go for like Pokemon Shield, and then I'll have just played three big RPG fun games over like you know the months that it takes me. Um, one thing I'm worried about now is that this this probably doesn't have a speed up on it, does it? I know it's a remaster and everything, but they're probably not going to follow the routine of letting you speed it up, are they? Uh, so I've no, never seen I've never know, seen that as no, an option on any game ever. There's no reason hmm. to like you. It is. The start is a very long. Movie. I don't mean the film. The film. The film would be mad. They didn't do that. But what I liked is I, I've I've noticed older games, and it's only quite recently they seem to have dropped this. When you're running around the world in it, it's uh, it's very slow paced. And this is this. I, I might be wrong. I remember this just feeling a little bit similar to that. That. You're just kind of running through emptiness to get to the next bit or whatever. But maybe well, there's I'm... no emptiness. There's 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 buddies all over the map that see you and mm. run at you, and or you run at them, and okay. um, and then you have your you go to your boss battle page. Cool. Okay. No, that's cool. Uh, that makes you feel better because I was mm-hmm. slightly like, am I going to feel really odd when I can't just whip the speed up and sprint across the map and get from a to b or whatever but um, oh, no, this thing's i've been spoiled this, by that but no cool like, okay shiny things um like sparkles that you can go and look at like i, I got further than kevin i basically have got i'm nearly so but i went i'm in like the first dungeon after you do all the when you get to ding gondel i did the forest one and now i'm in a new dungeon that is in like a part of Ding Dondel, which is like the main first city town thing, and um, yeah, I, I died as soon as I went in there, <laughs> so that's not great. But I'm still because I fell asleep when I was playing it because it was like Friday night. I just travelled. It was like eleven o'clock at night. I fell asleep. Um, and I haven't yeah, I looked it. over and she had a switch resting on her face. It was excellent. Yep. And the game was. <laughs> and the thing is, it, I don't know how long it had been because. Obviously, the movie was just playing, so I'm yep. just I'm sat there next door on the sofa editing the vlog, and looked over and realised that the switch was resting on her. But the game was it sounded like the game was still playing because the movie yep. did it so long. I fell asleep <laughs> when I had tears on what's his name Drippy, Mr. Drippy. Yep, don't know what happened after that. Not a clue. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Not don't know. Mr. Don't know why. He, yeah, that's his name. I love him. He's got a great accent. Is that the Welsh like, fella? Yeah, yeah, he's ah. great. But yeah, um, yeah, he had a great accent. Like I looked at, I looked at uh, reviews before it came out, and people were going, "Oh, the audio is awful." Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of people have avoided it because yeah. of the few clips that ended up on Twitter of the audio being completely out of sync with the rest of the game. But really? there was quite a large day one patch for it, um, and I've not noticed any issues with people. Never learn, do they? Yeah. They're, they're never going to no. put a game out and leave that broken. Like something that simple. I get if and they the, were like, and these clips were coming out like three or four days before it came out. So this was obviously early copies of it that hadn't had the patch applied yet. And 
it wouldn't let us play the game without downloading a massive patch, did it? it no, was, It no, took no. a little while for that to come down, and it was absolutely well, fine. While we're on that topic, and I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to derail you, um, but you just reminded me about people ranting about something that was barely out or not even out yet. That Mario Kart app, mm-hmm. um, it's not great. I'll be honest; like it's, it feels really weird driving on it. But people were losing their minds that you couldn't connect to the servers when they'd let you pre-install it, and they did the same with the Pokemon Masters like a couple of weeks back. They let you install the app so that there's not some mental rush. And then they turn it on at the time they told everyone. But both times, Nintendo, I'm assuming, because they're both Nintendo games, have gone, right, we told you it'll be out Friday, we'll put the app out Wednesday and let it roll across the world. And then people on Twitter were going nuts about this Mario Kart game not being available. Like, I was all excited, I got it, and then it didn't work. And you're like... (laughs) Get a grip, you freaking loser. Like, just (laughs) wait till Friday. Um, But, oh, oh, people are stupid. But, um, yeah, back to Nino Cooney. The um, knowing that, yeah, just stop judging pre-release stuff on its its quality of like pictures and whatever because you know that's 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 like months old and it needs fixing. It's like going to. EGX and saying, well, that five minute bit of a game I played wasn't wasn't very exciting, and thinking that's the whole game summed up. It's not, is it? No, like it, it like when I watch the review, it's like, oh gosh, that is that's a bit iffy. But it it's because on the PlayStation Three, it was a much bigger file size, and now it's like five gig on cartridge. So I'm guessing that's why you had to download the patch for the rest of it because yeah. it is a big game. And it, yeah, I've not had any problems. Um, everything has worked fine. I didn't understand because I was. Trying, it, it, it has. Um, you can save anywhere. You don't have to go to like the save points in the game. And I, being not new to the Switch, but not like into the Switch that much, couldn't. I thought <laughs> save was on the D pad, and then it looks like there's no D pad, and I pressed so many buttons, didn't realize it was the cross button. Was the save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, do you know what though I'm, you you're, you're saying it like, and I'm thinking I'd have probably been caught <laughs> oh but yeah it was the plus button yeah. glad you've said you've probably saved me hours of pain I'd probably have come back to you going <laughs> played 40 hours of this game and I still haven't saved yet um, <laughs> so yeah. you, there's listeners who are sat there going Jesus quick press that plus button <laughs> <laughs> but it, do you know what I mean like because most games would be like it not most games were on the D-pad, but it said it just looked like the D-pad, and it, that yeah. automatically in my head's like, okay, where's the D-pad? God. And I was like, everybody. That is quite D-pad. a design flaw when you think about it. I mean, I know that we've n- none of us have been caught out by it before, but it's I'm surprised but yeah, it hasn't come Yeah, it caught me up. out. Like I was like, oh, well, what? because the, the, the plus and the minus are so small that mm. they don't register in my head, but yeah. That's what they are. So just saying, if everyone, if anyone out there going <laughs> public service again, announcement, do you know how how it was? Because you you get your oh god, I forgot what they called like Pokemon things. I forget what familiar. they're familiar, familiar, mm. and I had to name it right. So I named it, and then it was like press the D pad, and I'm like, what now? And I pressed every button, and I could not work out. And then I thought. Where and then obviously I saw the plus. I was like, oh, so stupid. So I hadn't, I hadn't saved till then. I hadn't done anything. I was like, oh, now I know. Save, press enter. Just yes, but yeah. My one of my familiars is Dave, and now I have a Kevin. I was about to ask, do you call them Kevin and Dave and Rue and that? Yeah, um, my first one is Dave. Now, I, and then I have a monkey that is Kevin. See, I go for <laughs> variations of my own name. So I've got. Kev, Kevin, Kelvin, yeah, Kervin, Calvin. Just... See, I'm always like one e, <laughs> just, <laughs> just random made up words. <laughs> well, no, they give you they they start with names, but I'm like, no, I want Dave, and then I want Kevin, and then I will want Andy, and then interesting Andy. order of priority you've got there. I love my dog, Kevin. Are you fluffy? No. I do you get excited when I come home? No. Do you sit on my lap? I'll try no. to you yell at me whenever I try. Mm. You're too heavy for that. You are. I'm too only heavy. small. I am small. For that, you'll go to bed without any supper again. <laughs> I had my supper today. <laughs> she can't make me vomit. <laughs> <laughs> she 
give you a knuckle supper. <laughs> I'll make you ride the bus, Kevin. No, that ruined my week. <laughs> I had to go on a bus on Monday Monday lunchtime, really? and I still felt sick by Wednesday morning. <laughs> oh. It's such a giant. What you should have done is slap Pokemon Go on and it, it enjoyed the slow paced. Then... I had to sit oh, no. on my phone. Apparently, he was white knuckling all the way home. Yeah, I had to hold with on his to eyes the closed. bars in front with both hands, with my eyes right. closed, sat on my phone, teeth clenched to stop the sick coming out. Mad. <laughs> I've not ridden the bus in a while because you know they used to get it to work, but no, I, I don't. I don't know how I'd feel. I, I, the last time I was a passenger, I was pretty similar, just eyes shut. Telling everyone to be quiet, otherwise I'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> you are so child. Oh my god, it's a bus. Just sit on it. I did, and then nearly vomited. Do you know, I must have told you last, the bus to Peterborough. There used to be this woman who'd get on like not every day, but when she did, she'd wreck my life because she would just sit and chat and she would not shut her mouth. And I'd be sitting <laughs> there thinking, uh, well, one day I need to just turn and tell her to shut up. And I never did because I'm not a monster, but um, she just did, she used to just sit next to people she barely knew and just waffle on at them. And oh, I don't envy Kev. I'd sit, sit in there because it was just the same thing. I, and I tried moving. I know it's not... I used to have to put headphones in and just try and drown her out. But, yeah, but the thing uh, is... They picked him up to go and get the car. I was like, why didn't you just ask for a lift home? I'm too scared. So he had to ride the car. So what? The what? A stranger danger. But he went in the car when they picked him up to go and get the car. Yeah, but they had a chaperone then. <sighs> that could have been their big trick. Get him in the second time and just drive him off to Wales. Exactly. Plus, Beat I was... him with a sock full of billiards. Plus, I just wanted to get out of there before they decided not to refund my money because I put a dent in the boot that I didn't notice <laughs> no we didn't do that I did shut in the boot I, I, shut it, I shut it too violently it went pop and I thought oopsie and uh, <laughs> they, they never noticed it so hooray Kev wins that's why I didn't want to spend any more time with him I didn't want to still be in the car with one of them while the other one rings and says there's a dent in this boot and they bring me back I thought just get out of here leg it they've, <laughs> they've, they've refunded my deposit now run <laughs> As the bus pulled away, did you just shout out the window? You can't catch me now, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done, but I didn't. Too busy not vomiting. So that was our comprehensive review of Nino Cooney anyway. Um... Oh yeah, definitely but like if you liked it first the first time and you've got Switch, buy it this time, it's lovely. And it's a chill game and it's just <sighs> It's just, it's, so, it's like full of innocence, do you know what I mean? There's no, there's no like, guns and, and violence. He just wants to get his mum back. And it's just like, oh. and it's like, it's close to my heart because I want my mum back too. But, oh. yeah. It's, it's How do I nice. buy it without my wife telling me off? Don't just tell buy her. It. What, what can she do? It's That's easier tough. to ask for forgiveness than permission, cheap dog. You'll yeah, probably, you'll, any you'll, only, you'll only miss yeah. one supper and that won't do you any harm. <laughs> I might just eat my dinner and then tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. So, FIFA 20 came out today, I think, or yesterday as the podcast comes out. I'm right. sure it came. Couldn't you buy a week early one as well? I think yeah, it's, yeah. It's always the way with the EA stuff. So, the pre, I think the, the pre order special edition was Tuesday. EA Access, which was the version I have, I think was last week sometime, but I didn't actually get to have a proper go on it until Tuesday or Wednesday this week because I was busy. Um, I have now probably played two or three hours of it. I've tried out the new Volva mode or whatever it's called. Probably not Volva. No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's rubbish. Don't know why that's in there. Um, three on three FIFA Street nonsense. It, sa- it sounds appropriately named. It's a load of nonsense. Um, what else did I try? Um, I got my ultimate team up and running. I had a couple of friendlies. I basically had a little try of everything. And it's it's like FIFA 19. But as ever, a little bit harder to score. All seems a little bit slower. Apparently, the footballers look more like the footballers. But I don't know what they look like anyway. In fact, half of them, I don't even know where they are now. And uh, yeah, I, I think I said on Twitter that my... 10 hour trial that I get on EA Access which is I mean 
they've they've got me really because it's all I use my EA access for. So I'm spending like forty pounds a year on this. I'm effectively no, you're buying spending FIFA every nine, year. Nine, nineteen ninety nine, and it came out a couple of days ago. Oh, well, there you go. Um, but. It's all I really use my EA Access for because they don't release anything else these days. And I think my FIFA 19 trial, as at the moment I uninstalled it, still had about two, three hours left. And that was so that was enough. Six or seven hours of FIFA 19 was enough to get me through a full 12 months. I've had two or three hours of FIFA 20 now. And I think I think the 10 hour trial done. will be plenty again to get me all the way through. I don't think I need to go out and buy the full version of this game. It just they've they've stopped it from being fun all i want for, they've made it too much of a simulation now there's too much of a learning curve too much skill involved all i want from a football game is to be able to pick it up i want to be able to score a goal or two in my first match i don't i hate the fact that for the, like the last five or six fifas now the opposition can just dribble and run rings around me the moment i try and run with a ball i just get tackled <laughs> So all I can do is pass it around and try and cross the ball and get on the end of crosses. It's a lottery when crosses come in. It's just... Yeah. And I, might, I might go and try something. I might try Pez. I haven't tried that for about four years. <laughs> I never understand how this has still got such a big following. I think you could probably copy and paste what I said last year about FIFA. Um, I just don't get it, really. I can't think of. I literally can't think of more to say. I don't get. I don't get it. The hype seems to be less this year. Maybe I'm just not in the right circles. Well, it was they. They were trending on Twitter today with um, fix FIFA 20 career mode or something because mm. because their focus has all been on ultimate team and Vol- is it Volta? Is that what it's Volta. actually called? Um, Stop saying because the, the fo- one. <laughs> because the focus has been on that one. And Ultimate Team, they've not changed anything about the career mode for years, and um, apparently it's broken and not improved and a bit rubbish. And of course, if you're a FIFA content creator, that's the mode that actually has the most legs, because Ultimate Team, once you've opened a few packs, doesn't really have enough to it to Yeah, I was wondering how someone had a career out of that. It's the career mode, it's basically Mm. doing what I do with Football Manager, but in FIFA... Um, and that mode hasn't been touched for about three or four years now. And this year, to add to it, it's broken. If you Google FIFA 20 career mode, the highlights that come up, um, fixed career mode was trending. EA tries to cover up FIFA 20's broken career mode by deleting forum posts. People mm-hmm. are getting banned off of the EA forums for moaning about career mode. Um, it's uh, yeah. That, that tactic works, doesn't it? That's how all good companies <laughs> act. Jesus. Yeah. But it's uh. um, it seems like they've completely abandoned that. Obviously, because they don't make any money off it, they don't have the microtransactions on that. Um, so they don't care. That seems mad because surely that gives an, like you just want the game to be all things to all people who want it. So you just do that to stop pairs catching up. Surely. It does seem mad because it's that's the thing that sustains YouTube and FIFA got as big as it did. It pulled out that massive lead over Pez because it was the one that clicked with YouTube first. And that's when FIFA really exploded. And if you don't support the YouTube side of it, then it's going to get to the point where those creators do move over to Pez because it offers them something a little bit more and you only need two or three of the big FIFA YouTubers to move over to Pez and some of their followers go too and suddenly that dominance disappears so it's a bit short-sighted but then Mm. it's EA we've talked about them before we know what they're like the silly rascals it's weird they don't see it and yet like Football Manager they put enough effort in with you guys that they were also putting the effort into the FIFA guys weren't they they're inviting them along Mm. Um, it just seems mad that (laughs) <laughs> FIFA are basically doing the opposite. Like, no, we're just well, it literally you is the opposite because Football Manager just update their career mode part every year and never, ever, ever update the online mode, <laughs> which is still utterly broken. So we can't yeah. play each other or play online. So God. we need the two of them to just start working together and build one <laughs> complete game. It'd be lovely. Yeah, I, I just want to manage somebody else's FIFA team. Like they can, they can play as a team. I'll just do all the things make it happen yeah fifa 20 don't go out and buy it but 
by all means, try your EA Access trial if you're like me and you've been paying for that since the day it came out and never really got your money's worth out of it. You have to give FIFA a little go to feel like... Right, have you played it, Fab? I've played the demo and I've had enough. I've got my fill out of the demo. <laughs> wow. I was like, yeah, this is FIFA. I am not being fooled. I, I feel like I've bought every single one at some point. Probably not yeah, on release, but at some point I feel like... Last year, I think I got an email about two weeks after it came out from PlayStation and went, here, I have the, di- the digital version for this price. I went, that's a good price for a digital version. Oh, I'm not going to get it. I'll probably end up buying it again anyway. So so I bought it, and I think I played less than an hour of it. Um, you know one thing I haven't checked? Emails, Pab. One thing I haven't checked is whether they've got proper Ultimate Team on Switch now, because no. I think that... that see, Switch I would is, buy Switch. that. Switch is the legacy edition now, which basically means the PlayStation 2 version. Yeah, it has been for years. No, no, no. Yeah, but they, they've only acknowledged it this year as the legacy edition, which is basically updated kits and uh, rosters. <laughs> that is, that is all you get. Just give me Ultimate Team on the Switch. It's a perfect yeah. fit. Nope. It's so annoying. Nope, nope, nope. It does seem odd that it has very little uh, requirements to it to, to make it work. Apparently, so. it's, apparently, from what I read on Twitter, it's like almost insulting. That they are they're trying to sell you this game, that this new version, uh, as you know, it, it is very yeah, much to a some legacy people. Edition. It's just a, they want the players they know. That's probably about as far as some people care, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. yeah you know, maybe you get the current. It is pretty much the exact it's the same whatever. engine, same engine, same game as last year, but with newer kits and uh, newer squads. That is it. Just a shame, really, because I I think I've. I didn't buy last year's, but I think about the years before's. And I think about, uh, are um, yeah. are all clubs getting their own uh, editions this year? Or is it just Arsenal? I saw Arsenal advertising on their Twitter no, that they had the... Liverpool have one. That's how one with Virgil Van Dijk on. Am I wrong? Mm. I don't know. I know, like they had City and Spurs a couple of years back, didn't they? Because uh, they had the new stadium. I know. Last I know year, they've got. Um, well, I don't. I think that each team has like because Bolton have, have have one as well. Yeah, they there's, all there's... get their own sleeve insert. Yeah. similar to how Football Manager does. Yeah, so Posh have got actually. Them as well. I I think I'm getting my wires because I think it's Football Manager I saw announcing that that Arsenal had an he's edition. Gone. Sorry, yeah, um, he's gone. We lost him then. Me? Yeah, I lost yeah. him for a sec. Oh, it's on the recording, but um, yeah, it, I think I'm getting my wires crossed. I think it was the Arsenal football manager um, yeah, announcement last Arsenal week. Yeah, football manager. Is that everyone? Have they got all the badges and no, teams? No, just Arsenal. <laughs> and, it's, and they're only in the Arsenal edition. So if you get the non-Arsenal edition, the Arsenal badges and faces and stuff won't be in it. Really? It's only, it's only if you get the Arsenal edition. So what's, why wouldn't you get the Arsenal edition then? Well, because it costs more. Does it? Why, okay. why would I care about getting the Arsenal? Oh, I'm just, I just think it, if it was the same price, why wouldn't you get it then? Yeah, and if you can only more. get it from their club shop. You can't oh, really? Oh, it. Yeah. I mean, I, I obviously would never touch it. But... Sure, you, you yeah. can mod it anyway to get all the badges and stuff in anyway. You can, and yeah. everyone will, and that's yeah. the response to it. But yeah. it's, um, I mean, it's just an extra little bit of marketing stuff, isn't it? I imagine just trying new fans, things. It's lovely. It is a bit odd that it's Arsenal and not Watford, though. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't doesn't make a huge amount of sense. I I should ask uh, my brother-in-law's brother why they didn't go to. Although Watford to be first. fair, I think Watford are already in there, fully licensed. Just All right, that could game. be the answer, um, possibly. So I think previously, what both Watford and Everton have been in there, fully licensed. But I guess Arsenal, the negotiations were they could have them as long as they got their own version, but not in the full game. Which seems That's a bit mad. mad, really. Let them, ha- let them have their game that costs a little bit more in a nice shiny box that the mugs will go and buy from the club shop. But for everyone else, just let us have the faces and the badges, and it just it's cool then. Yeah. But apparently not. I imagine that license probably would have cost a lot more and made it unrealistic to do. Whereas I should think Arsenal are probably not charging anything or charging very little for this game specific license. Because it's them who are taking the extra pile of cash out of it. I, I suppose whatever, yeah, <laughs> more, more power to. The, we're not. I don't know. It's up to them. They own the rights to it. But I don't really want more clubs doing that. Obviously, I'd rather they just stopped dicking around, let the games be the games. But I, I guess it's more complicated than that. Well, yeah. You can't it's, just... um, my understanding of it is it's not the clubs that are stopping the licensing being in Football Manager. It's EA. Oh, really? Because it's in FIFA? 
Yeah. They don't mind the lower leagues, but they don't want the big leagues, I think, is the wow. is the way it, I've heard it discussed. Cheek. Wow. <laughs> so, anyway, shall we talk about Zelda? Sure. Have I they haven't made played Zelda it, games so someone else Oh, you haven't to played it. it. Uh, I literally played an hour of it. So, um, is that yeah. good? Pardon? Is Have they made good? Zelda games fun? They've made them look cute. Yeah, Indeed. it's very cute. It's very Mario-ish. You know what I mean? Everything's just pretty and cute and nice. Um, uh, I I don't know how to play these games at all. I, like, I love Zelda. And I In love... my experience, you're supposed to do like three hours and then put it away and not touch it again. That's how you play yeah. Zelda games. <laughs> <laughs> so... This game is you basically start with nothing. All you can do is walk. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you go through and you have a chat and then you find some bits and bobs. And each... So you you find your sword and your... And your... What do you call it? Shield. And then you find other things. And these things lead on to other things... That then lead on to other things. So it's like a big puzzle. You have to find one thing to go to one thing to open that one thing to find other things and more powers. And I get stuck sometimes because I have no idea where I'm going. Because mm-hmm. like I have I have bananas and I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Got to them. eat? No, you can't eat them. They're for something. Is I this believe... the one where there's a monkey being mean and you have to? Do you have oh, to go they, give it I've to already it? found a monkey that's being mean, but he just throws things at you. And you I think this really... is one of the few Zelda games I've played a little bit of, and it's like, that monkey's there's being mean, do something about it or whatever, and then but th- yeah, I, I know didn't know what, what to mean. do, so I just turned it off and never touched another Zelda it's... game again. No, he is um... in a lot of them. I've played them before where there's been a monkey, but this monkey is on the beach, and he throws things at you that you can get um, coins, but then he also throws... Uh, bombs, and I'm trying to pick up the bomb to take to a hole in the wall that I can see, but I cannot open. But I okay. cannot give him bananas, so I've left him. But I've got to like, so I went in one dungeon. I did the boss in there. Been to another dungeon and done the boss in there. And now I have, you know, them things in Mario that is like a big ball and chain. I have one yep. of them. Okay, Don't yeah. know why, <clears throat> but I do. Chain chop. Yeah, one of them. I have one, and he, he helps me in <laughs> in uh, in water area. Don't know why I have him because he used to live in the village, but now apparently it's mine. But yeah, how like, does he help I, you in water? Wouldn't he sink? How he eats the plants. Okay, cool. Exactly. <laughs> Story checks out. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this game's weird. <clears throat> Um, but it's lovely and it is one of them games you can pick up for 10 minutes while you're on the toilet and do a bit and then put it down. I'm in! As, as long as you know where, where you are, like, I'll go back now and go... On the toilet? What am I doing? No, because I, I played it, like, I got it on Thursday because I, di- I didn't have uni then. I, are we about to learn how often you go to the toilet, Anna? <laughs> no, I, I don't... I got it on I, Thursday. I don't, I, don't take it to the toilet. I don't take my switch to the toilet because that's minging. Like, no thank you. I don't think you're supposed to wipe your backside with it. I think no, you're but supposed just to... being in the toilet is just disgusting. Boys have been in there and, and no. I don't no, I think you know, the, the legitimate way to do it is you go in, you sit down, you, you, you don't touch anything but what's in your hand already, <laughs> the switch. And then after about two hours, you realise you're still sitting in a cubicle. Two or a toilet. Oh. <laughs> well, like I've, it's, plenty of times I've been like, I've been sat here for like 50 minutes. The... I didn't even tell my wife where I was. I've just hidden from her. Yeah, (laughs) I think that's the same. It's the most uncomfortable place I could find in this house. So I end up balancing the switch somewhere (laughs) safe where it won't touch anything dirty or I lean it on the tap. So I think taps are clean. I tend to clean them after I've washed my hands. Um, Clean myself. And then when I try and stand up, my legs are gone numb and I fall over. And then I and then get the switch, switch and I the leave. Floor and you don't, yeah, and you you break it. I no, I just no, I, I just don't put, I put it. my switch in my underpants when I'm wiping yeah, them. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> do. Yeah. The floor, then it'll get all vinegary. <laughs> what? Why would it get vinegary? 
sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you boys are so mingling. Blech. You maybe we need to get like a holster to go on the back of the toilet door. That'd be genius. Well, someone's made one of them, haven't they? For like your phone, yeah. Like, you you can stick it on wall, you put your phone in it, do your business, and then unstick it and take it with you. That's an actual thing. I was like, why? Cool for like watching that? YouTube or something on the toilet. Yeah, that would be cool. Because you've got you get them for baby. Uh, baby toilets, don't you? Like um, toddler toilets when they're what when a they're YouTube training. holder. Yeah, holds an, he holds an iPad while they're for sitting. the baby for the for toddlers. Yeah. Oh, what that's for like their attention? Work. Well, okay, that's yeah. mad. Yeah, it's a thing. Attention spans these days. <laughs> like when I got only a, a, a training toilet, it had like a whole thing that you flop down. And then it's like a activity thing. So he'd sit there and have an activity board thing while he was sat doing this. Well, I want one of them in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? Ma- Ma- not Mario. Zelda. 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 Yeah, it was cute. It's all right. I-, I never played this first one they keep going on about, but I didn't. This was a really Game Boy game? Keep going on about. It was I a Game Boy game, I- wasn't it? Yeah, I had a Game Boy, but mm. I got it like in, I got it in like, like the year it came out. I had that till I was like eleven years old. The amount of money of batteries I spent on that thing, <laughs> and have to be in the light and like, my brother's going, "Can I have a go?" No, <laughs> no you you're right there. It's just I can remember them, and they used to be so nice. What, your and I, yes, and I remember this can. one. I remember <laughs> this one game I had. And it was like a Frankenstein. And I always wanted to get past this one bit. And I could never never do it. And I can't remember what it's called. Because I'd love to watch that being played now. But it's, it had like a indoors. And then it had like a a nice garden. It was this garden level that I couldn't do. And I can't remember what it's called. But I used to play it for hours. And hours. And then I had Paperboy. I loved that game. But yeah. Paperboy's Zelda. Good. Yeah. Very... Cutesy and yeah, yeah. It's got a very yeah. um, it's it's very it's, it reminds me of like like stop motion kind of yeah, like, like Wallace and Gromit. Clay- kind of yeah, thing. yeah, claymation yeah, yeah, yeah. type stuff. It very much looks like that to me. Um, I'm in a similar boat to you, Anna. I've done. I've got to the after the first dungeon where you fight, you go back to town and, and the chain chomp's been taken. Yep. And I don't know where he is. I ain't got a clue. I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't give him a monkey. He's with really. some like, Eating monkeys, plants in the sea. I think. Is he down by the beach with the monkeys? No, no, no. He's like with big like gorilla monkeys. Right, okay. Like, you I go up and then you go right and it's like next to the... You know how you got to go through that forest and you got to yes. beat that raccoon up? Yes. There's, a, there's like... <laughs> there's these like mm. holes that you can jump over. Yes. And if you can jump over them, there's then like an area that's got some monkeys in, some like big right. monkeys. And he's in one of the. They've got like a hidey hole. Go in there and he's yeah. in there. I found yeah. him. Yeah. I'm, I, I like the game enough, but I think I've come to the, the conclusion that Kev's had all along. So the game's a turd. I don't really like them. <laughs> Fair enough. Breath of the Wild was yeah. different for me. Breath of the Wild was different for me. In, in yeah, I, don't, I feel like that's not a Zelda game, is no. it? It's like, it's a, just like I went a through the Zelda thing. I went. I started the game off right. Okay, here you go. Do this. Do that. Get your sword and shield. Go back to your den. Go to the forest. Okay, great. Um, right. Where do you go now? And you, you go to this area with with rocks and whatever. You push the rocks out of the way and you can get through. And it's a dead end. And I was like, okay. So I'll go back through. Okay, I can't find my how to get back through through the rocks again, pushing the rocks that way. I kept getting blocked off. So I was like, so I'm just stuck in this little box room area now permanently. So I reloaded, did it again. It ended up in the same situation over oh, yeah, and over again. Oh, you can't move them all? No, no, exactly. No. I was trying to get that, that little heart piece that is in uh, that room. Yeah, and I'm like, I can't get later. to that. Yeah, he must do. Yeah. I was like, I don't have a clue. Um, and I got to the point where I was like, this, this was on Friday when I got it, and I was thinking... I, I just I want I, this is 
I want to play this game. Just help me. So I just got a walkthrough and I've just started, play, just started playing it with a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to a certain point where I was just, I'd got through that bit and I carried on, I was carrying on playing the game with the walkthrough. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm just playing a game via a, a, a just, just reading, yeah. just reading it and going right, okay, go left here. And okay, I'm like, so I just stopped, I just stopped playing it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to play this right now. It's, it's not, I just can't be, the it's dungeon was fine. The dungeon was fine. I enjoyed mm-hmm. the dungeon thing. It's all the getting this to do that. And like I say, I didn't know where I was going. I was like, even if I could get back to the, to the previous room in that cave with the, the rocks, I just still don't know where to go because there's just holes in the floor which you fall down because you don't get a jump until a certain bit. And yeah. then I didn't realise you had to give that mushroom to the witch woman who's in the in the, the, ca- the cave in oh, like one okay. of the little foot. Yeah. Because I, I met the witch first. She didn't she didn't do anything for me. I met So I met her first before I got the mushroom and I thought the mushroom was like a power-up because you get like power-ups occasionally, don't you, that give you, mm-hmm. you take less damage, you do more damage or what have you. I thought it was just one of them, so I didn't think anything no, of it when it says... No, she poison, don't she? Well, yeah. So yeah. After reading the guide, I realised, oh, so she wants the mushroom. Right, okay, that makes sense. I thought it was just a power-up, so I was just taking it and going, well, there you go. I don't know what this, this mushroom does, but it must do something useful. I didn't um... think it was a, a, an item to give to someone. So when I actually was read the guide, I went, raccoon? "Oh, sh-. sorry." That raccoon. It was it the, for the. Raccoon? Yeah, you get you get you get oh, some magic powder, thing. don't you? And your magic yeah. powder turns the 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 raccoon fella back into a person. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and so I eventually, like I say, I'm pretty much following this guide <laughs> word for word, just following it around, just going, "Okay, do this, do that, kill this guy," and yeah, I was like, I I don't think I like the puzzle element because it's very much an old school game of. You need to, you know what I mean? It's like, know, know what you're doing, like, follow what. I was just saying, time has moved on so much since then. It's, so, since it's very much an old school Zelda, Zelda game, and I don't people, get how people, people did like it. them, but I mean, I was just like, I don't, I cannot fa- fathom this out right now. I cannot fathom this out. And like I say, I eventually just stopped because I was like, I'm just playing it from a guide, so I'm going to just stop. And as like I say, I couldn't find that stupid chain chomp that wandered off, and I was like, I don't care about your chain chomp, love. I'm trying to save the world here, whatever you're trying to do. So, I don't Did know. I just hear what you say about looking up the guide. I don't know if I mentioned this, because uh, I'd obviously been talking about playing Wonder Boy loads uh, mm-hmm. previous weeks, and I got right to the end, and it's just too hard. But um, I was looking. I was like, I'm at the end. I can fly. I go to a room. There's nothing I can do in the room. It's the only place I can find googled it and this guy said that he spent a year playing it daily constantly all the time trying to figure out what the hell to do like he must have been exaggerating but he reckoned he'd been playing it and he clocked like hundreds of hours in this game just exploring every inch of it trying to figure it out and then he found a sword and then he found when he went in there you had to just wave the sword and the bricks the like picture in the background changed into bricks in the foreground that you could then smash and one of them had a key in that made a door appear and blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, I felt like the, all the time I'd spent was worthwhile and it was a revelation and all of this. And I'm staring at it thinking, I'm so glad he just said where it was because I want to just crack on with this game. Otherwise, my Switch was going in the bin. Um, but that's evil that that would even be a thing in these games. Like, there was absolutely no way of knowing that unless you found someone who'd already played it and knew. Um, I can imagine plenty of people playing this game 25 years ago didn't get past where that was because there wasn't a Google to look at and it just seems mad that that, that's really bad design surely Mm. that's the thing I was like I say I was the same with like if I didn't it's probably because I didn't follow what the witch was saying to me in the in the thing that she, she said she, she must have said something like she needs mushrooms or something like that for a potion got any shrooms and I said I just didn't take it on at all because I just went she's not giving me anything she's not you know she's she's not. I'm not gonna kill her or anything. And then, <laughs> she's not giving me anything, so I won't murder her. Well, no, I was in like she's not gonna. She's not gonna. It's not like a boss battle type thing, or she, you know what I mean. She's not. She's not an enemy per se, and so I, was like, I don't know what she. It just must be flavor text. I don't know. I'm just gonna just gonna move on. Mushroom and like I say, and then found the mushroom after that, and then just assumed it was a power up, like the the other things that I've been finding, and uh, like I didn't think anything of it until I read the guide. And, yeah, it's it, it's it's a perfectly fine game, and I probably will at some point go back to it and have a look around. And 
But I was just like, I don't know if I want to do this. I really don't know if I want to play this this kind of game. I think you buy it physically, or I bought it digitally. Yeah. Yeah. Have they got any more Game Boy remakes in the in the works? Cause no, probably this not. Is, they've had Pokemon Red and Blue, and they've had you know, Zelda. Um, there must be a few more that they could HD up. I mean, that's such a that's such a good racket. Like, because there's some classic games that are genuinely oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, um, maybe people want to buy. I'm not criticizing them for doing it. I'm thinking this is genius, um, but I can't think off the top of my head. Mario, Pokemon, Zelda. What what's their next biggest thing? Is it me- like Metroid or something like that? Uh, I mean, maybe, but they are making a new Metroid, aren't they? So they probably don't want to be uh, taking. Surely they really want to do that. They're they're, make, they're making a new Pokemon, but they brought out Pokemon Let's Go. They they they're working on uh, Breath of the Wild two, but they brought out a Zelda game. That you maybe that is what they'll do. They'll do a. Look, oh, yeah, look maybe, at this. Yeah, so maybe in the new... future, but I don't think they're going to make them simultaneously. Is what I'm saying. They'll be, they'll be. You know, I part kind of, of wonder how much work went into it because it'd be just uh, the frame of the game must be there, and you know, just a few tweaks yeah. and a massive yeah. overhaul on the graphics, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's certainly something. It's, uh, it's nice looking, and it's it's just another Zelda game. Yeah, it's a clever idea. Um, speaking of walkthroughs and stuff like that, um, I've turned to walkthroughs for control. <laughs> I, 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 I've got to the point where I want to finish the game, and I was like, I really this is like I say this is this is my favorite game of the year so far, and I want to finish the game, but I've got it's a Metroidvania, and it's become a point of the game where I'm just meandering through corridors trying to find where I'm going. I was like, this is driving me bonkers. Yeah. I want to do this side mission because everyone says play the side quest because the side quests really give you a lot more out of the game. What so I'm like, side okay, quest is it? there's like side quests as well. I think there's one where I'm doing finding spores or something like that for oh, okay. someone, and it's a pain in the backside. I've looked, I was like, I don't know where I'm going because it's like one, it's like a, there's like five different spores you've got to find. It says find a, they're, they're formed around dead bodies. These are formed around toilets. These are formed around office areas. And so I'm like, oh, so I'm going, okay. so I'm going round, the, I'm going round this entire building, going, I know where some offices are. I know where some toilets are. No, 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 no. It's in the, it's in the, the contaminated spore area. Because uh, I eventually went, okay, I'm just YouTube this because I don't know where. I, just give me a clue because I'm wandering around for ages trying to find it. And I found the spores like near the start. I no. Remember. No, 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 no. It's like there's like a whole area that you go down, and there's like it's all like this fungus kind of stuff growing and stuff like that. And okay. you can drop down, and you drop right down. And there's like a um, there's like a, a a lab down there. And there's a woman in there doing a study, in and she wants all these different these samples of these different fungus spores. But they're all down there. You got to go down there. But it, the the area is so difficult. I keep getting me absolutely battered around just just because like. These, these these like spore and like like uh, you know like the Last of Us kind of enemies like these weird like mm. like fungus monster kind of things and then there's like the spores if you, if the, if you get near them they explode it's really difficult nice. so and so I watched a YouTube video on it like just to see exactly where it is and it is it's confirmed they are down there but this person I was like this person's got levitate so I was like ah so I need to I need the flying power I knew the I knew there was a flying power in the game at some point it's not like flying power it's like you kind of hover around mm. sort of thing. I was like, all oh, right, okay. So then I was like, well, how do I get to that? So I just thought, you know, what, I'm just going to advance the story. I'm just going to advance the main quest. I just want to see because obviously I'm going to get the levitate pyre at some point. I'm going to push the story a bit. And then I was like, can I find where I'm going to go for the story? Then no, I can't find where that is now either. Oh my god, I'm wandering around this building again, and it's because it's just a whole Metroidvania. And when I was into the game like a few weeks back. It wasn't that big a deal, but if you have it, you, t- you take it away a few weeks, you stop playing it. You kind of lose the controls yeah. are fine, but it's like getting the gist of the building again and stuff like that. Um, so I was like, okay, where is the containment rare? I don't have a clue. Okay, it's in a lift, right? Okay, so get in the lift, go down, find another, um, another uh, what they call now the the um, objects of power or whatever they are. Yeah. Um, there's another one. I can't get to it because you need to levitate power to get to it because it's across a big ravine. I'm like, <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. So I've just it's just been a case of just me getting tiny, tiny bits of progress in that game. I've not got I've not even advanced the story. 
because I'd not got to the quest because I did have the one side quest like a side quest popped up on the way to the where I was going in the main area mm-hmm. and and I'm like okay and it's just been hell trying to just watch YouTube videos on on how to do certain <laughs> missions and I'm like they all kind of revolve around me needing levitate and I'm like so now I'm scouring the internet trying to find where do I get the levitate from because it's driving me insane mm-hmm. and and this I've just spent too long just watching people's let's plays of just, I'm just spamming spamming the button like fast forward five seconds go right okay words to levitate stuff not found it yet I will though I will do because I like I say I think it, I love that game I really do I think it's one of my favourite games of the year so you don't just level up or anything like that no sorry get it. You're not, no you're no no get you you you, you find objects of power and objects of power give you give you these abilities. Um, and like I say, I, I found uh, I found the anchor. The anchor is is the one that I found from a side quest, uh, but I can't get to it because you have to you have to traverse this massive ravine, and uh, my dash abilities aren't enough to get you across. So I will continue with that game. I want to finish it because it's really interesting and really intriguing game. Um, the I last... think anyone who's been playing MGP Bingo there uh, probably got a full house. The amount of times you said Metroidvania again. Sorry, Is sheepdog, you cut out then. Yeah. I did what? Uh, okay, out, well, the listener would have heard again, but I said I think anyone playing MGP Bingo <laughs> would have... <laughs> it's, clearly, it's clearly does not want yeah, you to say I those words, sheepdog. I'm doing sheep this dog. on purpose, sheepdog. <laughs> Am sure I still here now? I won't, I won't crack my joke again. When you say it and you get cut out again. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> is that your um, lot then? Have we talked no. about all of our video games? We We, we have only... Well... Borderlands 3 is still high on my playlist. Are you still playing it, Anna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played it all day Wednesday from the moment Andy went nice. to school to the moment he came home. That is all I played. Um, Le- what level are you now? I've got level. Uh, I think I just hit 26, 27. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I, so I wasn't expecting that. I was what you were going to say in the 40s. Because I got no, to no, no, 30 like... in the week, so... <laughs> no, I was like, like I these. yeah. So we, I got it. I you've been away, haven't you? So. Like, yeah, I went away. I had work. Um, so, like, yeah, I got went on it Wednesday. I've got to the. F- so I've been to Pandora. I've been to yes. the city one. I've been to the. Like, the nice. Like, where the. Uh, where the Buddhist what, temples is. And yeah, like temple. The monk, I've monk been to area. the rock one, and now I'm in the swampy one. Which yeah. is a massive area, yep. like so yeah. so big. Um, yeah. I'm I'm just going around there. It, it's really cool because like you've got um, oh god, his name's just escaped me. He's one of the gun, like gun people family. Um, uh, Wayne Wright Jacobs. Jacobs, that's it. So they yep. make Jacob guns, which are like shotguns among other things here and there. And yeah, I've just I'm just going through it, enjoying the stories. Is like there's like serious stories, and then there's like the, oh my god, there was a heartbreak. There's been two heartbreaking things that's happened. I just like oh, no. Um, yeah, okay, but, I know you. I know one yeah. that you that you that you've probably done. I was just I was so like oh, no, that's so mean, but. I've yeah. seen the return of one of some characters, which I have gone. No, why? No, 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 <laughs> not you again. I oh, love, I love Tiny Tina. Oh, oh my god, I love her so. She drives so me much. insane. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's great. She is. She's oh. older now, and she's yeah. Yeah, I love her. I want to be her friend. But um, yeah, yeah that's not like a spoiler. Everyone knows that all characters okay, come back. But um. Yeah, not not. I think I'm that. Uh, yeah, because I got the tw- level twenty five, so I'm a few above that. But yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I've got. I have a grenade at the moment that I throw at someone, and then a big mushroom grows on them, and then it explodes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good love one. Yeah, that. that is a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. And then I've got like guns that shoot bullets, but then. Uh, Grenades pop out of the bullets so around all the people. That's that's fun to do. Yeah, it's fun. I, I'm still flak. I'm just got yeah. my flak and my and my 
what is he called? Jabba, I think they're called. And he's got <laughs> he, he he went from an SMG to a shotgun, and now he has a rocket launcher. So you nice. know. He's just doing his thing. I love having him because now he can revive me if I go down. And yeah, some of these yeah. areas, there's like yep. 20, 30 <laughs> coming at you. You're like, oh my God, what is happening? But yeah, I'm enjoying mm-hmm. it. I want I want to finish it now so I can go and play. Like, I want to play the other three characters because they, ho- they all have like, um, they all have different abilities <laughs> and I want to try all of them because they all look good because you've got your mech and then you've got your siren and what was the other one? Is there four or three? Yeah, it's the other one there. I'm the Irish oh, one. and then this one that is, can do like uh, misdirection. So yeah, yeah, yep. I'm, I'm all Borderlands loving it. Um, they've just announced the uh, Harvest Festival Halloween. Yes, um, there's, there's events going on in the game, yeah, which is not, good. It's not DLC, it's just it's events. It's just events, yeah, it's just great. It's good that yeah. they're actually doing live events in the game. But that's fun. Um, so, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. All, all I want to play now, from now till Silly Season, is the Outer Worlds mm-hmm. and Luigi's Mansion. That's it. And they both come out to like three days in like in the span of three days, and that's all I want to play until February, of course. Mm. But yeah, I've got a lot. I've got a, a dissertation to write at the moment, so yeah. whether I get to play the Outer Worlds and Luigi's Mansion is is another thing. But <sighs> you never know. No, um, you never know. Maybe one day. I found I found playing Borderlands with people is considerably better. Yep. Yep. It is. I've been playing I with. I just don't know anyone. With one, no. I've been playing with one other person. I played in a group of four, and it was fine. Uh, and I've been playing the rest of the time with just one other person. It's. 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 I, I find it's. Um, like I say, I find you don't have to just listen to the nonsense that's going on sometimes because sometimes it is a lot of nonsense. Sometimes there is yeah. some funny stuff going on, but then sometimes you're like, "Oh, shut up! Come on, just let me move on." <laughs> and yeah, you don't have to. You can just tolerate that because you. Just, Chatting away. Um, one funny thing I did find. Um, I got. A, I got a. It, so my friend said, "I'm having trouble with the killer vault boss." He said, "I can't. I just can't beat him." With the I was what? Like, what are you on about? I said, "I did him straight away." Hello. And it's it's in the it's in the city area, yeah. I think. And do you remember the killer He's vault gone, fella? Or everybody else gone? And he, he has. Um, he has like electricity. And he runs along. Electricity runs on the floors, and and he shoots electricity and everything like that. I think. Yeah, it says it. I can't hear anybody. Oh, everyone's Sorry. just come back. I think yeah. that's Hello. That was oh, weird. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say a word then because I just didn't want to uh, <laughs> record I said, it. I did, so that'll be fine. That's fine. There you go. We're back. It's fine. Um, <laughs> no, what, what did I, what what was I saying before we got, got out? Continue. Do, do we know? Have we gone again? Have you gone Hello? again? Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Right, there you Hello? go, you're back again again. There we go. <laughs> uh, right, are you still there now? Okay. Are we going to do some talking? Hello? Yeah, I think we're okay. Pab, you can probably I just am, carry yeah. on, because yeah. I imagine you're talking about it anyway. Yeah, so, um, I don't know what you, you caught before I was saying. I was saying no, that I was... <laughs> <laughs> you Basically, when you're playing, you're playing things where you find a problem of, of some sort, or something... Um, I don't remember. What I will say is, um, yeah, I was playing <laughs> with uh, playing with a friend, and he asked me to come and help him do the killer vault boss. Oh yeah. And uh, it's all electric based, isn't it? And he has all the electric floor and the electric uh, gun and the tubes oh, yeah, all that yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he said to me, "I can't do it." I said, "I just don't know what I'm doing." It's really struggling with it. So I said, "Okay, I'll come and join." So I joined his game. Yeah. And I'm just he, he got down straight away, and I was like, "What? Well, I don't know what the problem is." I was like, I, and I'm just running around. I'm thinking, I'm not taking damage. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really struggling with this boss. Mm. And then I realised I had. A, I had. A, I forgot that I used one of the one of the um, the shift key things, whatever they're called. Oh yeah. I got a gold. Got a gold shield with a hundred percent resistance oh, wow. to, to electric. Hundred percent. Hundred percent resistant electric, and it recharges the shield when the, when I get hit with it. 
Wow. So it's, it was just, it just doesn't, I just wasn't taking damage. I just stood, I walked right up to him and he shot me, did nothing. And I was like, I didn't realise it until I, until I was just literally walking up to him and going, I'm not taking damage. Yeah. And, but That's like, it's just, it's this, the, the randomness of <laughs> weapons. Cause then he was like, well, I'm going to go and use some shift keys and, and see if I can get but it. Then like, you, yeah. The, they're not guaranteed. Yeah, are I said they? the odds of you finding the exact same item as me are probably insanely rare because they don't work like that. They all it's all no. stat. You might find the same same shield, but it's all stat ran. It's all randomized stats. Mm-hmm. So odds of like I say the odds of me finding it was I don't know, but it was it was great for a while, and I'm all about the shift code thing now. I'm all about I'm gonna follow people on these things on Twitter that send tell it send. You know, it tell you when there's a shift code available, so I've, so I go on and enter them into the website or onto the game. Yep. I don't think I'm about eight or nine now. I've got spare. Please but all... tell me that yeah. you have been you've been into the pauseman pen Miller pause menu, and you've been into social, and you've gone over to messages. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You go into the emails. Because I didn't emails. know that for a long time. Yeah. 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 And I went it's, in there, um... and there's like fifty guns. So I was like, I yeah. can't even. You get emails, don't you? From from if you, if you use a weapon for a certain yeah. amount of time, you get an email yeah. from that company going, "Oh, we've sent you a new gun," and it's always inevitably bobbins. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... I didn't know they were there. So like all my um, skins that I got with the game, didn't know where they were. They were in there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just didn't have a clue. But yeah, yeah you don't. If... You, you wouldn't do. You really wouldn't. No. Do. <laughs> if you're but playing I... it, go to your pause menu, go down to social, and then go across the messages. And there's like guns in there and skins and whatnot. So yeah, I didn't know that was yep. a thing. Yep, it is immensely fun, um, <laughs> and it's probably the only game I've been playing properly for the last week. You know, properly amount of, mm. any amount of time. I've not I've not played up until tonight. Uh, I've not played Apex for two weeks, um, mainly because I'm just having a break on it. But uh, yeah, it's. It's 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 been fun playing Borderlands. It has. Excellent. It's uh is that you lot this time then? Are we done? Uh, yeah. Oh, are we finished? We, we feel are. finished. Yes. It smells mm-hmm. finished to me. So um Oh by the way I played some Minecraft again this week. Who knew? Oh did Shock. You know? Yeah. Exactly. You should really yeah, put I'm it on the internet. Who'd have let people see that. it. Exactly. Um so hey, uh, hey Pab, did you yes. know you know that um that Bloodlines game that you bought the other week. Bloodlines? Um, yeah, I think that's what Bloodstained. it's Bloodstained? Bloodstained. I thought you were doing our outro then, Anna, and I'm really <laughs> disappointed in you. No. Hey, Pab, did you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's now on Game Pass on Xbox. Yes, yes it I is. I was like, yes, I want to play that. I have yep. played it. I've downloaded it. It's I really good. It. It's really good. <laughs> Any other games you haven't played? No, that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all I have. That Sorry. probably is the only game she hasn't played in the world. So um, <laughs> apparently, we have a Twitter. Um, I hear it's useful for finding out where we are if the podcast doesn't hit your podcast player on a Saturday morning. So that's a reason to follow. It's at MGUK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. And I'm at RB6K. I'm Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pub 1986. And we will see you, boys and girls, next week. Bye. Thanks, Lizzie. People are not going to say goodbye. That was <laughs> my, I, I I'm, was I'm sure trialing was. a new so, way of ending. And you I'm lot are all so sat there tired. going, well, that can't be the end. That's not what he said for seven years. Kevin, Kevin you didn't get up at half six this morning. No, I got you up at quarter snoring. to seven. No, you did not. You're such a See you next week, boys and girls. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, folks. <laughs>